uh, a lot of African artists, but he did not so. Uh, he just selects, for us it is a small amount, just uh, 15 artists, 15 African, among the 116 select artists. Another, another, what do you say, Chief? Uh, knowing that the last edition of Sao Paulo, Paulo in Brazil brought together 199 artists, imagine how many African artists were included in the global show. Only six. That is not all. Four of them come from South Africa. One from Angola, another from Benin. And for us, the situation is not acceptable from Africa point of view. That is why uh, the Dakar Biennale uh, developed a kind of legitimation that consists to say we want to give more room, more places to African artists. We don't have enough places in uh, the so-called international exhibition. Now we want to exhibit our artists by our own. That is the first legitimation of the Dakar Biennale, and that is why Dakar Biennale decided to exhibit just only African artists. We can invite uh, people, uh, European artists, but they are not directly considered as part of the show. And of course, Dakar Biennale is a peripheral Biennale, but that, that is not just because uh, this Biennale takes place in a continent that is already peripheral. That is also a problem of budget. The general budget of the Dakar Biennale as a whole is one million euro. And last, or during the last edition, we don't get the total amount of one million euro. We just get half. And we have to organize all the Biennale with that. And this kind of deficit of uh, means, this kind of lack of means, uh, push the Biennale to invent some new mode of practicing the job of curators. Uh, because you don't have money to give to the curator and to, and to allow him to be a tourist, to travel uh, everywhere every he wants. We have just to imagine a new kind, a new modality of selecting work. That is why uh, the curatorial practice uh, we, we put in the first level is to ask artists to send folios to the, uh, the office of the Biennale. And then a committee uh, will be set up, including curators that will come to show the slide at this time, uh, to a slide, now we can have uh, some CD to show. And from the view of the slide, we make the selection. We make the selection from the time. Among the committee, the international selection committee, you have four curators, who have the right to present one artist. I was one of these four in 1998, but uh, some other person benefits this kind of opportunity. And between, uh, among these four, four persons who have the uh, permission to showcase, there is always at least one, uh, one European, one curator from Europe. Uh, that is uh, the model that is still uh, available, that is still working in the, uh, in the curatorial process of the Dakar Biennale. 
So all the process I want to stress is that, uh, of course, Dakar wants to be an international dinner, to have an international recognition. That lead also the staff of the Biennale to invent a strategy that consists to invite very well-known international creators from Japan, from Europe, to come and involve in this selection committee. And I can give you the list of the people who are already involved uh, in, kind, in this kind of international selection committee. You have Marie-Claude Bolvin from ICA, she was Secretary General. Jean-Luc Pivin, who was the director of the Revue Noir. We have Yuki Hia Kawakushi from Japan. We have Akile Bonito de Oliva from Italy. <coughs> Chantal Pondrion from Montreal. David Edel from Britain, Orlando Brito from Spain, Sarah Diamond from Canada, Thomas Boutou from Belgium. And of course, we have also very prominent artists working in the jury, because at the end of the Biennale, uh, an international jury deserves deserve some prizes. And what uh, I want to add to this list is that these members of the jury are not just in the jury as a piece of decoration. They have a very strong <coughs> experience 